What's going on guys? Welcome back to another Jang's 08 YouTube video. Now, I know I just uploaded a video talking about Luca and his Game 5 performance, but this game just finished. I did say that I was going to check out the end of it. I did check out the end of it. Uh, Dallas have won. They are moving on to the Western Conference Finals. Uh, so if we look over here, so it'll be Dallas and then whoever wins out of the Timberwolves and Nuggets. On the other side, obviously, like we said, Celtics and it'll either be Pacers or Knicks. Uh, but I just want to talk about this game. This game come right down to the wire. Some amazing coaching decisions at the end. Uh, there was a lot of, uh, I guess, a lot of emotion. A lot of things happening. Uh, you know, miss not missed calls, but like there was a call that was called uh, was like a called a block out of Dallas, but it was actually not touched by Dallas. But Dallas didn't have their their challenge, and then uh, it went to. A three-point shot that was challenged by uh, OKC. It was a fail challenge. So then uh, o Dallas had three free throws. So they hit the f two free throws and then missed the last one. And Dallas basically had to try and get a three-quarter court shot, which they missed. And so that made Dallas the, uh, the winners of this game and putting them through to the Western Conference Finals. Now, Kyrie Irving. If we look down here, let's have a look. Um, I mean, first off, Shout out to uh, the Oklahoma City Thunder. Uh, Shea Gilgis had 36 points, 8 assists, 3 rebounds, as you can see there. Uh, no turnovers. Like, what else do you expect your superstar to do? Friggin' amazing game. Shout out to Shea. Played 42 minutes. You know, great, great stuff. Uh, Jalen Williams had 22. Uh, Chet had 21. You can see, like, what's on the screen. You can see, like, they just played really well. And they were in it till the end. They were in it to the end, and, you know, unfortunately, the number one seed is going home. But uh, let's go over here. I do want to talk about, I mean, obviously, Luca, 29 points, 10 assists, 10 rebounds. Uh, did have seven turnovers, had two steals to go along with it. You know, he played a typical Luca game, you know, an amazing. It was plus nine, uh, plus, sorry, plus seven in uh, the plus minuses. But Kyrie Irving had 22 but I'm pretty sure he had like four points or something in the first half and then come out or something like that. Come out and, um, you know, went off, not went off, but like had a really good, really good for, uh, second half to help Dallas sort of seal this victory. Uh, personally, like I said in the last video, I don't overly like Luca, but I would really like to see him win a title. I don't know why. I don't know how. That doesn't make sense. I know it doesn't make sense and I get it, but... Yeah, I'd like to see Luca win a title and, you know, start the, the new era off properly. properly. Uh, I know Jokic has been around for a little bit, not super long, but for a little bit. I kind of class Lu uh, Jokic in the the back end of the older guys, so like LeBron and that, obviously not the same age, not even close. But like, I think Luca, and I could be totally off, off base with it, but I think these new guys, Luca. um you know, Tatum, Shea, uh, Ant-Man, I think those guys are the future, and I think it's going to be really, really fun moving forward in the NBA, and as an NBA fan, so, like, this kind of got me pretty hyped, which I'm excited for, and, uh, yeah, now I really want to see uh, the two games, I'm pretty sure they're tomorrow, let me just have a look here while I'm here with you, let's have a look at our games, uh, so, tomorrow... Yeah, so we've got the two Game 7s tomorrow. Pacers versus Knicks. Obviously not 3.30pm for me. I'm in Australia, so that'll be like really early before I probably even wake up. And then uh, Timbles Nuggets uh, at 8pm Eastern Time in America. But yeah, or ET, whatever ET is. But whatever time that'll be here for us in Australia. It, this, it's pretty, pretty crazy NBA like playoffs. Like I'm, I'm quite enjoying... Now that I've started to get back into it, I'm quite enjoying the little storylines that are in it so yeah anyway that's just a quick little um look at this game I, I thought that both teams played fantastically and I just yeah really enjoyed not just the end of the game but really enjoyed the competitiveness and you know how hard both teams played so yeah anyway that's it for me just a quick little just a quick little video but uh yeah stay tuned for the next one guys peace